every Iron Dome interceptor is costing Israel anywhere from about $50,000 to $100,000, okay? So when you have a missile coming towards you from Gaza or from Lebanon, for that matter, mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about Katusha rockets, Grad rockets. These are modeled after old Soviet versions of a very old, primitive, no guidance system, you know, couple dozen kilos of, 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 of explosives obviously can cause damage and, and kill people if it's, if, it's a, if it's a direct impact. But uh, what we would call a stupid rocket, right? No, no, nothing precision, no, no sophistication to it. You just kind of line it up, point it in the direction that you want it to go, and then, you know, fire it. Uh, costs maybe a few thousand dollars, if that much, right? Depending how they're making it and, and where it's coming from. Uh, you're spending about $100,000 sometimes to shoot out something that's just a few thousand dollars. Now, the argument in favor of it would be, well, the damage it would cause and the casualties it will cause are obviously going to be much higher. So the the, the fifty dollars to $100,000 is you know, peanuts compared to the loss of life or damage to a building. But but still, that 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 has that does impact your economy. And, and, and listen, let's be also honest over the last two years it's had an impact on israel yeah right? no questions the iron the, beam is the, a couple the, bucks. This